are four properties of nouns. Person, number, gender, and case. Let us discuss the case of nouns. Case is the quality of noun showing its relationship to a word or words in a sentence. Noun cases refer to a noun's function within that sentence. There are three cases of nouns, nominative, objective, and possessive case. In the nominative case, nouns have three functions, subject, predicate noun, and direct address. To identify the subject, let us review the parts of a sentence. A sentence has two parts, the subject and the predicate. The subject is what the sentence is all about, while the predicate tells something about the subject. Let us take a look at this example. My father bought an inflatable pool for us. The complete subject in this sentence is my father. The complete predicate is bought an inflatable pool for us. Again, the subject is what the sentence is all about. For example, Marlon delivered the package to us. In this sentence, the subject is Marlon. The man stopped working and went home. The subject in this sentence is man. Louisa is both pretty and wise. In this sentence, the subject is Louisa. The monument in the park was inaugurated. The subject in this sentence is monument. Again, the words Marlon Men, Louisa, and Monument tell what these sentences are all about. Now, let us discuss the predicate noun. A predicate noun is a noun connected to the subject of the sentence by a linking verb. For example, David is a swimmer. In this sentence, the linking verb is connects the subject David to its predicate noun, swimmer. Swimmer is the predicate noun in the sentence. Teacher Rose is an English teacher. In this sentence, the linking verb is connects the subject, teacher Rose, to its predicate noun, teacher. Teacher is the predicate noun in the sentence. Jimmy is a professional photographer. The linking verb is connects the subject, Jimmy, to its predicate noun, photographer. Photographer is the predicate noun of the sentence. Belle and Cinderella are my favorite Disney princesses. The linking verb are connects the subject, Belle and Cinderella to the predicate noun princesses. Princesses is the predicate noun in the sentence. Again, the words swimmer, teacher, photographer, and princesses are the predicate nouns. Let us now talk about the direct address. Direct address is the person addressed to in the sentence. It is signaled by a comma or commas whether it is located at the beginning, the middle, or at the end of the sentence. For example, Nina, I think the Beatles is the greatest band of all time. In this sentence, Nina is the person being addressed to. The concert, Adam, was a blast. In this sentence, the word Adam 
is the word that functions as a direct address. That was an amazing artwork, Cecilia. In this sentence, Cecilia is the person being addressed to. Again, the words Nina, Adam, and Cecilia function as direct address in these sentences. Let's have a recap. In the nominative case, nouns have three functions. Subject, predicate noun, and direct address. Let us now answer this activity. Identify whether the underlined word in the sentence is used as subject, predicate noun, or direct address. Number 1. Did you bring the basket, Maria? What is the function of the word Maria? Answer, direct address. Number 2. The door was left open. The word door functions as Subject Number 3 My favorite food is paella. What is the function of the word food? Subject Number 4 Fred is an accomplished writer. The word writer functions as Predicate noun. Number five. The little girls danced with glee. The word girls functions as Subject. Number six. Angel Luxine is a famous actress. What is the function of the word actress? Answer. Predicate noun. Number 7. Clara, you are my only friend. What is the function of the word Clara? Answer. Direct address. Number 8. Gino and Eric are cousins. The word cousins functions as Predicate noun.